knowing how much chemical or fertilizer you need can either hurt or improve your lawn. Today we're going to be showing you how to use Google Earth to figure out the square footage of your house or your client's house. Using new technology can be confusing and we want to make it easy for you today. So make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button, give us a like, and we're excited to show you this material. So I'm going to show you here on the computer how to measure any yard anywhere using Google Earth and Google Maps. First of all, we want to print off the house that, that we're going to be measuring. So we're going to go to Google Earth, pop it up here, and then you're going to come and click. So it takes you to the website. Once this pops up, you'll want to click down here to the launch Earth. This is going to bring up a beautiful view of our Earth from space, from a satellite. And then we're going to be able to go anywhere on Earth and, and measure any distance we want, really. All right, so here's our Earth. To get to where you are, you have two options. You can come down here and you can click fly to your location. I'll click that now so it starts in. This is going to bring us to where we are. Or you have the option of a search bar up here. So if you're measuring a location where you're not, Ah, you come in and you type the location that you want to measure. And I'll take you to that location. So here's the, the yard we're going to be measuring today. We're going to, if you click this 2D, it'll give you a, a view straight from above, which is what we want. And then if you click this, it'll also rotate it so it's pointing north at all times. And then to zoom in and out, you can use these buttons right here, or you can use your the scroll of your mouse wheel. All right, so to print this, um, I always stick it over here on the left, and then all you're going to do is hit Control P. It's going to pop up the printing screen, and you'll see, all right, we have this, this layout here that we're going to be able to print. Um, go ahead and print that, and then we'll go get that. So we have our printout here uh, from the printer, and um, I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Uh, to measure, we want the perimeter of each of these two shapes. We have a triangle, and we have our bigger lawn here, the, the square with this rounded edge. And normally when we're doing this, this rounded edge right here, would be really hard to measure. We just kind of have to guesstimate what that is. And we know guesstimating is not accurate. All right, so we have two sections here that we, we want to know the area for. So what we will do is we'll come here to Google Earth and we're going to come over here to the left. There's this little tool called measure distance and area. We're going to click on that. And you can see it'll bring it up right here. So I'm going to move this up just a little bit so you can see it. All right, so the first thing I do is I, I wanna always measure in feet. So I click on that and then I'm going to choose a corner to start in. It doesn't matter which corner, you'll just get in that corner, you'll click your mouse, then you'll move your mouse to the next corner. Once again, you'll click it come down to the third corner, click it again. You can see that there's a little bit of shadowing going on because of the trees, that's okay. You're gonna get as close as you can. And then to close the square, you're going to come back to your original starting point and close the shape. So that gives us our square feet. You have to come down here and select square feet if it's in meters. And that gives us 2,000 283 square feet. We know that's not quite accurate because we have this big bend. Uh, and so what we'll do is we'll simply grab the line and we'll drag it to the point where we want it. And, and we'll continue to do that until we get the shape we want. You can adjust this as little or as much as you want so that we, we are following the border. If you want it to be Truly exact, that's what you'll do is just continue to, to mold it 
until you get the, the measurements exactly right. And even you can see here, this line, it's a little bit up on the sidewalk. So I can grab that, slide it over. And you can see where we're getting to be right around 18,500 square feet. And I'm feeling really confident about this using this new technology to measure. Uh, we can get really precise on our measurements, way closer than if we were using a measuring wheel or walking this off or guesstimating especially. All right, so to start a new area, we wanna measure this triangle as well. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to write this area down here on our map. And I like to write the exact number so that when we're adding it up, we, we have exact numbers. A lot of people like to round up or down, that's fine too. All right. So to start a new one, we'll click Start New. We're going to come over here, pick once again, our corner, go to the next corner, click there, come here, and then back to our, our starting shape. There we see a, a area of 2,200 square feet. Once again, I'm kind of on the sidewalk so I can adjust this as, as I want to get as precise as I want. And okay, so that dropped it down just a little bit. So once again, I'm going to write this area on my paper, 2184. All right, so now we have these two, two areas. We know we need just over two bags of fertilizer that covers 10,000 square feet each to put down on this area. Uh, if we were to guesstimate how big these were, we would have been way off, which we show in our other video. I think it's also important to point out some of the disadvantages to using Google Earth. With Google Earth, you get a lot of these shadows. You can see the trees are creating shadows. You can see the trees themselves are covering the sidewalks. So it's hard to know exactly where the corner is. So with that, that's one of the disadvantages to doing it this way. And it's really important to be aware of that. Houses can also create really big shadows you can see the building here creates a shadow. So you'll want to know exactly what you're looking at when coming into this area. Let me pull up a house here. Another one of the disadvantages of using Google Earth is maybe sometimes your house, if you just built it within the last year or two, maybe they, they haven't recorded it yet. It's not on here. So sometimes their maps are not always up to date. That can be a problem. So this is a perfect example. This is my friend's house and across the street, I've been here many times, there are houses here. So Google Earth is not fully caught up on what, what the latest and greatest is as far as houses. So if that's the case, you want to, you want to know. Uh, also looking at uh, his lawn, you can see all these shapes here are really intense. It's hard to get those with squares and triangles like with the, the measuring wheel. It'd be take a long time to do this, but with Google Earth, it makes it easy. But you can also see there's a shadow here. So you wanna be really careful when measuring it out that I know this is not grass. And so if I measure this as lawn, then it's gonna throw off my square feet. So let's go ahead and really quickly just measure this yard I like to bring it to center. Once again, you print off your map. I have that here next to me so that I can write down the square footage as I measure it. All right, come over to my measuring tool. I'll start here in the corner. I quickly do an outline of the yard. Close the shape. All right, then I can drag to get more specific as, as needed. As I start to drag, I can I can quickly bend around this circle. Get really quite accurate. All right, so that area is 515 square feet. I'm going to write that down. Start a new one. Here we go.
So you can see I don't have it quite low enough. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, map this out the best I can with what I have. Once I close the shape, I can move my computer screen and you can see I wasn't anywhere close, but that's all right. I can just quickly drag these to my corners. I can create new edges here. And I get really close. Once you're close there, just continue around the whole shape until you have the outline that works the best. Once again, being aware of the shadows that they can affect where, where the edges look. All right, another reason I want to use this yard is because, okay, so we have 2,200 square feet. We're going to write that down. Another reason I want to use this house, you can see right here in the backyard that there's something green. This is actually not sod. This is artificial turf. So it doesn't really need fertilized but I just want to make the distinction that you can kind of tell the difference just because of the color. But it's always better to be safe than sorry. So we're going to measure it. Once again, you have a shadow from the fence here. So you want to take that into account. Come around these edges here, you can see the house kind of hides the edge. So once again, these are some of the disadvantages to using Google Earth. It's just not quite knowing what's going on behind this edge here and in the shadows. So I just want to point out the good and the bad. We have another thousand square feet of, of artificial turf. I'm going to write that in here on my map. And it's really important to write these numbers down and I'm going to write that this is artificial turf as well, so that when I go to order my fertilizer, I know exactly how much I need to get. And it makes it easy when I have 100 clients, I have a map of each of their houses with the square footage. I'm able to put that in and, and have my calculation for how much fertilizer I'm going to need for the week or month. And go out and do my jobs. If you're doing a single house, when you walk in to get your fertilizer, you know exactly how much you need. All right, hope this helps. Make sure to hit the subscribe and the like button. Once again, using Google Earth to save you time and money.